Hey everybody, this is Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing my first favorite book for June and it's going to be Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I can't say her last name. I'm sorry, but I loved this romance story. It was a fantastic story with terrific characters and I found these really cute PNG stickers of a stethoscope and also some envelopes. So the main characters are doctors, so that's why I found the stethoscope, and the male character, Jacob, he communicates better through letters, and so letters play a significant part in this book. So that's why I wanted to use some envelopes. I also grabbed a ton of stamp phrases that I can use, like this means the world to me, our secret spot, and teamwork. And I'm kind of going back to a design that I really love doing, which is taking my stickers and my stamp phrases and clustering them all on one particular side and kind of going upwards. So it makes almost like a staircase, but it turns out really cute and I love how this is all going to come together. I also used some washi tape with arrows. It's like a red color and I'm also going to use a yellow washi tape. Now the main character, the female main character, Brianna, she's wearing like blue in the book cover and I really did not want to just do red and yellow. <laughs> I can't help but thinking of that as like ketchup and mustard. So I had to throw in the teal. And so this is going to like be a really different color scheme. I would never put red, yellow, and teal together, but because it's in the book cover, I'm just going to go with it. So I hope it comes out looking good. I think it does in the end. I am adding washi tape in several different spots. I think I wind up going with three different spots and I actually take the red arrow tape and turn it different directions, which adds some really nice movement to the overall page. And once I have my washi down, I'm laying down a bunch of different stickers, the red stethoscope, and then my letter. And I also have a gray envelope as kind of a neutral color. I'll add in some stickers that I found from my stash, uh, red and yellow. And, and then I will also stamp a few hearts as well. And I trimmed a few of the envelopes to kind of be flush with the washi tape down at the bottom and also added a few um, on the right hand side. And I'll just trim everything off and it'll look fantastic. I love this design and I think that there's really nothing wrong with going with a design that really works for you. You. So that's my opinion on that. I stamped love this so much up by the book cover and teamwork over on the left hand side because really these two wind up being you know their co-workers and they also be wind up being a great team together and then uh, I also stamped our spot because these two characters wind up bonding in a sob closet. That is what they nicknamed it. So it's kind of part of the book. I'm going to add in some more stamping with a yellow ink with some hearts. And I just, I love it. Like I said, this design works for me so well. Once I have everything down, I'm going to go ahead and start on the synopsis. And just a reminder, I always pull up the Goodreads app so I can kind of see what Goodreads uh, has to say about the book. And that'll usually help jumpstart what I want to say about the book. That way I can just paraphrase um, my own th synopsis for the book. But having Goodreads there definitely helps to kind of jumpstart me. I am drawing in my box for the rating and this time I went with yellow stamped my rating. Since I didn't use any other black ink anywhere else, I figured I might as well just stamp with my rating. So that's why. Totally different because normally I just use black ink for my rating so it's kind of different for me. All right, the synopsis. Dr. Brianna Ortez is having a rough time. Her divorce is done and her brother needs a kidney transplant. And to make things worse, her promotion at work could be given to the new male doctor, Dr. Jacob Maddox. Brianna wants to hate the guy and 
her staff to hate him as well, but then he writes her a letter, and the letter turns out to be the icebreaker that they need. Jacob is a funny guy who has the worst time with first impressions, and Brianna finds herself exchanging letters with Jacob, meeting up for lunch in the sob closet, and connecting on all sorts of different topics. I love when books do letters. Like, that's kind of one of my favorite tropes is secret letters or just letters in general. Okay, and then Jacob decides to give Brianna the most amazing gift, a kidney for her brother, and that's when things change between them. Brianna will accept the favor Jacob asks of her in return, and they will spend even more time together, and can Brianna trust her heart with Jacob? So it's a wonderful story about finding love and, you know, dealing with life when life throws you curveballs, and I definitely am going to put this in my thoughts, but I really loved how this book was kind of almost like a deep dive with um, introvertedness and social anxiety and I just I love that especially from like a male character because that's not something that you see that often. Okay so my thoughts I loved that Brianna is the strong woman in the book and um, I think that's really a great thing to see in romances because a lot of romances there's domineering men right but Brianna is the strong strong one, definitely in charge, has a career. I love that. And I also loved that Jacob um, loves to journal and has a whole plant room. I thought that was really cool. And I already mentioned that I love the letters. And I just loved how these two characters really brought out more of the other person. Like they brought out, you know, that saying, when you find your right person, you bring out the best in each other. I really feel like that's how these two characters were. And I loved the side character of the three legged dog that was adorable I just couldn't remember his name off the top of my head the last little thought I put down was that I enjoyed the mature conversation between the both of them to be harmless to each other I, I just really thought that that was a great way to kind of think about your partner or somebody that you are thinking about falling in love with right okay so the quote I have is going to be a long one it's, we're all a little broken, Brianna. We are a mosaic. We're made up all of all of those we've met and all the things we've been through. Parts of us that are colorful and dark and jagged and beautiful. And I love every piece of you, even the ones you wish didn't exist. It's a fantastic quote, and I was so happy that it was going to fit in that space. And I really love love that quote. It just sums up the two characters. They both um, are having kind of a rough time with things right now, but they just, like I said, bring out the best in each other, and they have some very mature conversations about, you know, love and how they can, you know, better each other, and in the end, that's what they do. So the other quote I'm going to put on the other side of the page on the right hand side and I also wanted to mention I am currently reading Love Wrecked which I found through Kendall Unlimited. Also reading a middle grade book called Nessie Quest and I'm kind of not listening to any books right now but I have a ton come through so I'm excited to pick which one I'm going to listen to next and I'd love to know what you guys are reading I always love when you share with me what you are currently reading all right so the next quote that I have I actually was able to squeeze in two short quotes so the first one is love shows up that's how you know when it's real and then the second one is you and me we're different we agree to be harmless to each other definitely had to include that little sentiment again about being harmless to each other. And then up at the top, I will finish the rating and just fill it in. I wound up using two different yellow markers because I felt like the first one was just too bright. And it's going to be book 67 out of 100. And the genres is romance, obviously, but I wanted to add in mental health as well. So that wraps up my first favorite book from June. And I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this page come together. I'd love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye.